Hello and welcome to Tending the Soul, one of the ministries of Robinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. Please like and subscribe this video and you'll get more of soul tending work in your life. We will continue doing these videos and helping each of us find a way to kind of connect our life, our full life, full embodied whole life with all those in the world. One of the lasting impacts of my time up at the Line 3 uh, Shell City Camp was listening to indigenous folks from the Anishinaabe tribe um, who are part of the Horse Clan and what it's like to have the folks from Enbridge and the police and, and others um, move through this sacred land and drill and use uh, fracking methods and, and mud and, and water and dirt um, to, to unearth uh, the space for this pipeline. It's just, it's, it's so hard for the earth, but, it, but one of the things that they're doing obviously is going through sacred land where there's burial grounds. And one of the comments that has happened and to, to hear a young um, uh, native person speak of their experience of hearing Yet again, another person in authority, a white person, say, well, it's just another Indian. Like how much, how painful that is to hear that because that's who they are, right? Another Indian. And so to devalue that graveside, that experience um, is, is hard to, to kind of know that that's who they're talking about is you. And it's the same thing we do all the time when we hear of tragedies on the north side. It's just another black kid who dies. It's just another gang member. It's just another drug addict. Anything that diminishes human life diminishes all of life, diminishes our collective soul. The idea that it's just another whoever is, is part of what evil is all about. It diminishes anybody's given experience. And, and one of the responses of the folks at Enbridge is to say, well, when we find bones, we send them to the museum. Isn't that honoring of, of those people? And the native response is just reciprocating that same thought. Well, what if we dug up your ancestors' bones and put them in the, in the museum? How would you feel if people started saying, well, let's build a house where that cemetery is and who cares about the bones? It's just another dead person, right? It's just another settler, it's just another farmer, it's just another worker, it's just another whatever, um, diminishes that sense of life. And so we can do all kinds of things that lift up the value of human life and the, in the core piece of where we get uh, a whole system of white supremacy enacting in us is that we are the race that diminished human life and said this group of people based on the color of their skin don't matter. They're not fully human. We animalized folks. We, we wrote in the Constitution that they were less than a full person. This is all part of the healing work that we're part of and it's about bringing people into wholeness and fullness in their lives. So that we, when we read a news story about uh, a, another shooting or another uh, experience of, of death and grief and loss in our community, we can't just say, well, it's just another. Let us feel what we need to feel when there's a devastating experience that happens. Let us feel the full impact of that. I, I, I will always remember that um, I did not come from Minnesota, and I uh, did, it, there was an anniversary of the um, abduction of Jacob Wetterling. And people in our church council were honoring this 10 year anniversary of this, of this child that was taken. And it is a tragedy, but I, I tend to kind of move in that space as why is this one person so valuable when so many others are also disenfranchised, taken and abused and, and we don't know where they are. The missing and murdered indigenous women, um, there's so many stories of folks who have uh, been taken from their homes um, into sex slavery and into all kinds of injustice places. We need to open our hearts and not just say it's just another Indian. This is really important, folks, and it's a way that we can all be part of tending to our souls, to do the healing ministry that we are called to be a part of. 
This has always been the tradition of the mystics to bring all of humanity into wholeness and oneness together. And we are not done with our soul tending work until we do that work inside of us and never let words like that cross our sacred lips.